Well, hello everyone once again. Welcome to our studies in looking at the miracles that Jesus performed in the Gospel of John. So let's just have a bit of a recap, shall we? So we actually looked at water being turned to wine. Um, then the next one was a healing uh, the royal official son. Yes, you remember that one. Um, and then there was after that, there was the man who couldn't walk. He was a paralyzed. Jesus uh, uh, healed him. Then after that, there was the feeding of the 5,000. Yes, yes. Um, with uh, five barley loaves and two fish. Yes. Fed 5,000 plus people. Um, oh, and then there was Jesus walking on the water. Ah. So, um, today's lesson, we're going to talk about the miracle that Jesus performed is a man who was blind. Totally blind. Couldn't see a thing. In fact, when he was born, he was blind. Imagine that. He couldn't see the colors of the flowers, different sorts of birds, the different types of trees. He couldn't see anything. Do you know our eyes are quite amazing how it works with the brain so we can see the images it's quite amazing and you know our eyes are so wonderful it's very very difficult if we can't see to allow us to see particularly since this man was blind from his birth so imagine the scene Jesus is actually walking with his disciples open the Bibles please of course we're going to be referring to the Bible as always the Gospel of John and chapter 9 John chapter 9, it begins like this. And Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. So as a baby, he was blind. When he was born, he was blind. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? this man or his parents that he was born blind so jesus disciples oh remember the names of the disciples again let's recap it's good to remember peter andrew james and john fishermen of capernaum thomas and matthew too philip and bartholomew james his brother thaddeus simon and the one named judas 12 disciples here in all following the master's call so they have a question for Jesus. Lord, why is he blind? Was it something he did? Was it something his parents did? Look at Jesus' answer. Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. What Jesus is saying is, this man was born blind for that day, years after he was born, so that Jesus could heal him 
and so that people would be thankful and give glory to God. This man didn't know that this day would come, that he would meet Jesus, that he would be able to see. He'd never seen before. He didn't know what people looked like. It was all very new. That day would change his life. So, Jesus does a strange thing. Jesus approaches the man. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground. Jesus spits on the ground. Oh, but for good reason. He spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. So Jesus is spit on the ground. He takes the clay, the dust from the ground and makes it into a bit of a, a mud, a muddy clay mix of water and mud. Strange. What would Jesus do next? Then we're told he takes it, the clay, the mud, mixed with the spit of Jesus, and spreads it. On the man's eyes. Hmm? And all the people and the disciples, they are looking. Why is he doing that? Making clay, mud, putting it on his eyes. Why is he doing that? But they had learned that whatever Jesus did, he always had a good reason. Then Jesus says, Stand up, and I want you to go down to the pool. The pool, which is called Siloam. I want you to walk there. I wonder how he got there. I think he knew exactly where it was. I think he'd been there before. This man was blind. He couldn't see but I think he would have had a very good memory. He'd be able to feel his way there. Maybe feel where the trees were to help, to help him. Feel where the walls were to help him. He knew that the pool of Siloam was down that way. Or maybe he asked somebody to help him. Why did Jesus send him to the pool? Well, the word, the name Siloam, the pool of Siloam, it means sent. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? This man was sent to the place called Sent. <laughs> and as he's walking, he knows that Jesus had sent him. to the water. And Jesus said, when you get there, I want you to wash all the clay, all the mud off your eyes. He went his way, therefore, and washed, verse 7, 
and came seeing. Oh, whoa! So he gets back. He, 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 just imagine when he washed his face. He'd never seen the birds flying. He'd never seen the trees, the colors, the beautiful flowers. He'd, he'd never seen anything, anything. He was absolutely delighted. He was giving thanks. I can see, I can see, I can see. I can see! Look, I can see! I can see! When he got back to where the people were, they said, Is that you? Yes, yes, it's me! The, the man that was blind? Yes, it's me! Can you see? Can you see me? I can see you! No, that's not him! The man that was blind, he's always been there. He, he, he's always been blind. That, that can't be him, surely not. It's me. I can see you, you can see me. It's me. I, I can see the birds, I can see the flowers, I can see the trees, I can see the plants, I can see the animals, I can see what you're wearing. I can see and God has allowed me to see. I've never seen before. I didn't know what you looked like. And some of the people said, Hmm, hey, maybe he could always see. Maybe he was tricking us. Maybe he was pretending to be blind. And so people would um, feel sorry for him and give him food and give him money because he was begging. No, it's me! I can see! Well, you look like him. You sound like him. You're dressed like him. Hey, maybe it's you. It's me! I can see! Let's read on. Some said, this is he. Others said, he is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, Hey, how come you can see? Look what the man said. A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And I went and washed. That's all I did. I just listened to what he had to say. I believed. Now, if you were the blind man, would you allow someone to put mud on your eyes and say to you, go and wash and you'll be able to see? Or would you say, don't be silly, that can't happen. The man believed and he went. That's lovely. That's a lesson for us, isn't it? We have to believe what Jesus says. We have to do what he asks. Our parents ask us to do things. And it's good that we do as we're told. Because we love them. And we trust our parents. And we know that they want what is best for us. And if we do, and if we listen, and we do what we should do, do you know, life can be a lot easier. And for this man, he was so happy, I can see. Now then. There were other people there that didn't like Jesus. And the people brought them to the Pharisees, the religious leaders, 
and they said hey this man he said he was blind and then he can see he said a man put mud clay with spit mixed up on his eyes told him to go to the pool of Siloam which means sent he was sent there he washed his eyes he could see mm. the Pharisee said tell us again who was this man you said what was his name Show us who he was. The man said, I don't know what he looks like, but I know it was Jesus. He put clay, eyes, mixed with spit, told me to go to the pool of Siloam. It's a miracle. The men said, Ha! How can this man do miracles? He's a sinner. How can... Don't believe it. Terrible. Tell us what happened again. What did he do? I've told you. This man, Jesus, took the dust from the ground with the this spit mixed it and put it on my eyes and I can see how long have you been blind I've been blind since I was a baby when I was born Hmm, I'll tell you what then, we'll call your parents, we'll find out the truth. We think you're not telling the truth. Send for his parents. His parents came. Is this your son? How is he? able to see was he blind was he always blind his parents said this is our son and we know he was born blind but the fact that he can see, we don't know who made him able to see. He's old enough. Ask him. He can speak for himself. Ask him. Now the Bible says, the reason why his parents says, we don't know how he was able to see. And the reason why his parents say, ask him, he can speak for himself. Is the Bible says that the parents and other people, they were scared of the religious leaders. They were scared because the Pharisees had said, if anybody believes in Jesus, and if anybody follows Jesus, we're going to throw you out of, of the synagogue. And in those days, if you're not allowed to go to the synagogue, then it wasn't a very nice thing for many people. If you follow Jesus, you need to be out of the synagogue. You cannot come and worship God anymore. 
So they were scared. They were scared. So then, they say to the man again, tell us, are you sure you were always blind? You know what the man said to them? He said, this is amazing. You're asking me all this time about the fact that I was blind and now I can see. And you're asking me and asking me and asking me about Jesus, what he did. Do you want to follow him as well? Ooh, they didn't like when he said that. Get out! You are a sinner. He's a sinner. Get out! Don't come back here. We we know you're lying. You know, they didn't like Jesus. And because they didn't like Jesus, they didn't like what he said. So the man walked away. Get out, they said. Don't come back into the synagogue anymore. Get out. That wasn't very nice, was it? The man walked away. It seemed he was quite sad. He was very happy that he could see. <laughs> Maybe for a few moments he thought, I felt more happy when I was, uh, when I was blind. These people, they're, they're so angry with Jesus. All I know, he's made me well, and, and I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful. I wonder what Jesus looked like, the man was thinking. If I knew what he looked like, I could, I could thank him. The man is sitting, perhaps. Maybe wondering if he will ever see the man that caused him to see. Jesus came up to him and said, Do you believe? Do you believe in God? And do you believe in the Son of God, the Savior? He said, Yes, I do. But I don't know who he is. Jesus says, It's me. It's you. Oh, he was so, so grateful. So grateful. So thankful. Listen to these words. When it says in verse 35, Jesus heard that they had cast him out. They thrown him out. And when he had found him, he said unto him, Do you believe on the Son of God, in the Son of God? He answered, Who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? Jesus said unto him, Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. You've seen him. You're looking at him. It's me, Jesus says. And he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshipped. He was so thankful. So thankful. And thankful and grateful to God for allowing him to see. So what are the lessons? The lessons, I think, today, Jesus cares. God wants what is best for us. We need to be obedient. Just think if that man had said, I don't want to go down to the, the pool of Siloam to um, wash my eyes. I don't think it's going to help me. He didn't say that. And I'm so glad he didn't say that. I'm sure he's glad. He didn't say that. And every day, he will use his eyes to look at good things. Thank you so much for listening. 
And next time, we'll continue our studies in the miracles of Jesus in the Gospel of John. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for listening.